Good afternoon. Good Wednesday afternoon, everyone. Hello, what's up? Um, <clears throat> today's my only day off. Uh, I worked 17 hours yesterday. Got home at 3 a.m. And I just got back from Aquatic Arts. I had to pick up an order that I got, so I thought I would share this with you guys because this is probably the only time this week I'm going to have to share anything with you because it's peak season for retail and Chewy's got us working. I'm still wearing my glasses. I can't see any. I'm wearing them. I can't see you guys. Okay. Um, it's peak season at Chewy. I'm losing my mind. Do vampire shrimp say blush, blush, bl bl oh, blah, blah, blah? I don't know. I, we're going to find out. I got vampire shrimp, and I also got a surprise, because they were rehoming something, and I decided to take it. Off work, go to work. Yeah, no kidding. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. But that's okay. I'm going to make it. Stupid autocorrect. Yeah, it doesn't speak vampire. Uh, who's here? Daryl's here. Loach guy's here. Uh, Fish Dreams is here. William's here. Ken's here. What's up, you guys? Okay, so I'm going to start opening these, because I need to start acclimating them so that we can, like, let them go. Um here box so these are the vampire shrimp Pam, Pam is not here for anyone that was wondering hello Pam um these things are super awesome I don't care what my boss says these are awesome look at these they're huge and they're blue look at that If only Pam was here. Shishi's here. What's up? Zen Ginger is here. Science Gal Aquatics is here. What's up, girl? Check these things out. Vampire shrimp. Look how big they are. Okay, we gotta acclimate these things. Alright, come down here, surprise box. You sit right here. Sit right there. Um, that's dangerous. Stay there. Come here. Move over. That way. Move this light. So this lid doesn't fall into the tank. There we go. Okay. Acclimate. Uh-oh, her tablet's dying. Alright, I'll well, hang on. I'll turn the TV on for you in just a second. Okay, um, I need my towel. Who else is here? Cody's here. What's up? Recon 338. What's up? Yeah, you say Pam's name three times. She shows up like Beetlejuice. Isn't that right, Pam? Hang on. I have to get a towel. Um, hang on. Um, I need to get a towel. Okay, so Jaden's tablet died. I have to go fix that. What's up, everybody? I got my Science Gal Aquatics towel, so now we'll be all right. Eating, sleeping, do we need to worry? Yeah, no, I'm not doing any of that. Eating or sleeping. I ate some chicken wings last night at, I don't know what time, 10? That was the only thing I ate yesterday. I'll be fine. It's just retail season. There's a lot of overtime, a lot of driving, a lot of working, a lot of 12-hour shifts, and a lot of still people need rainbow fish and I can't see anything anymore my eyes have decided to stop working so you're getting glasses Haley today I'm super sorry that whatever anywho hang on just one second <clears throat> okay Okay, so, yeah, now everyone's going to want chicken wings. Chicken wings are delicious. Let's see. Yeah, I'll be fine. Don't worry, Zen Ginger. I will be fine. Um, uh, if one wants some vampire shrimp, they have more at Aquatic Arts. So, uh, aquaticarts.com. 
They are located in Brownsburg, but they ship everywhere, so check them out uh, online. And they have really, really good prices. They were running a bunch of Black Friday sales. You missed those because it's not Black Friday anymore, but um, they always have really good deals, and their prices are they're fantastic. So check, check them out if you would like some vampire shrimp as well. So as far as the surprise goes, let's open this surprise box. Wait a minute, there's other stuff in here. What's this? What is this? Oh, more and more moss balls. Thank you. Didn't know those were in there. What's that down in there? Is this a sticker? I hope it's a sticker. Oh, no, it's Racer and E-Rates. It is a sticker. Okay, so there's the website. www.aquaticarts.com Not in focus. Um, for, and they got all kinds of stuff. There's some Nerites. They got all kinds of cool stuff in there. Trust me. I looked through their bins today. Jane was running around in there, so I had to watch her, but I was looking through their stuff, and let me tell you something. They have some cool stuff. Check them out. That's going to go on the pond, by the way. Let's put that right there. Moss balls. I don't know what to do with that. I'll figure something out. Okay. All right, good. That's all that was in there. So, yep. Surprises. Hello, surprise. Hello. Come here, you beautiful fish. Look at this. Where's Mikey? Mikey. You guys see this amazingness? Look at the yellow spots. Oh, what a beautiful fish. I love it. I love this fish. They were rehoming it. He said it's a snowball pleco. He didn't remember the L number though. They've had him for a long time and they wanted to rehome him. And I'm like, um, yeah, uh, I'll be taking that. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful pleco. Okay, so, acclimating this pleco as well. So they're both going to go in here. I didn't know I was getting this giant pleco. Get in there, bud. There you go. Okay. So I did not know that I was getting this giant pleco. I did know I was getting the vampire shrimp for this tank because it's super high flow. And I set up these rocks over here. And I'm hoping they, the vampire shrimp will sit on those rocks and, like, filter feed. Because they filter feed with their little mitts. So I'm hoping that'll look super cool. But now I have this pleco, this huge pleco. Um, and I need to quarantine them because hashtag always quarantine unless you get a platinum Bashir that needs to immediately start breeding with your other Bashirs and then I fully support just plop and drop. But this is a totally enclosed system so I don't have to worry about it affecting any of my other systems and so we're going to put the Pleco in there too just to quarantine them together. <clears throat> Cody said, I was looking at the rainbow fish they had for $3 a pop shipped. What, on Aquatic Arts? I'm telling you, they got good prices. And their fish are, they take really good care of everything. They're, I saw everything in there. There's filters everywhere. There's, they're doing amazing stuff. They were all doing shipping. They have the little shipping stations. They got rock. They got lava rock. They got all kind of dry goods. They got a whole room of air plants that's just amazing. Um, yeah. They, it's super cool. It's super, super cool in there. I wish I could have gotten, like, full tour where I wasn't chasing my toddler around, but hashtag mom life, and I have no time. Like, right now, she's waiting for me to play with her. I told her I had to do a little bit of work so that I could show you guys this, and then I have, I have to go play LOL dolls. <clears throat> okay, boxes, boxes, boxes everywhere. My, hashtag mom life is real. So I have, like, three jobs, four jobs. So Lucas, Chewy, mom... YouTube. And I feel like you guys are getting the short end of the stick, so I had to show you that I got new fish. Alright, um, I'm gonna grab a bucket and a net, cause I'm gonna drain water and plop and drop these guys in a second, so hang on a second. Five jobs if you have LOL pieces. Oh, the LOL dolls is for real, man. <clears throat> I broke everything, but it's, it's fine. I'm super tired. I'm super tired, you guys. I don't know if you can tell, but I am super tired. Okay, so we have a net and a bucket. I can't even keep these glasses on. I don't need to see things. Hey, go watch your show. I'm almost done. I gotta deal with these fishes. Go on. I'll be in there in a second. 
Um, the new robe fish are doing good. They're eating, they're hiding. They don't really want to be a part of social aspects at all yet, but that's okay. Let's see. I call the LOL dolls prostitutes. Yeah, against the flow, I agree. I call them balls of trash because it's mostly trash. Recon says the sand in those tanks looks so nice compared to mine. It's brand new. Give it, give it, you know, six months. It'll look as same as yours. It's white sand. It's actually pool filter sand. I get that for $12 for a 50 pound bag at uh, Ace Hardware. Cheapest option for sand, in my opinion, that is not too coarse and you can use it with Cory Cats. Did I ever find a golden rope fish? No. I still have people looking for a golden rope fish, but I haven't found it yet. The hunt is on. Infested with Malaysian trumpets. That's not a thing. People say that's a thing. That's not a thing. You just have a lot of Malaysian trumpet snails. I'm pro snail. Have all the snails. Have hordes of snails. Just utilize your snails. Fisher and Fever says I'm doing water changes, but I heard Snowball Plug go, yeah, check it out. Oh, bam. I love all the snails. They had some sweet snails at Aquatic Arts. I'm telling you, I'm getting some of those snails. Like Devil Spike, giant Devil Spike snails, big black giant spike. Oh, amazing. I wanted them. I almost whipped out my checkbook. But my checkbook's not worth anything, so. That wouldn't have helped me. Okay. Pleco will probably be fine. Water temperature, pretty similar. Not too shabby. So we're gonna put him in first, then we're gonna put the shrimp in. So, oh wait, I need my scissors. I got my schwizzers. Schwizzers? Towel? Bag? Bucket. Oh, you can't see this. Hang on. Uh, that's a filter. Hi, I run filters. Uh, bucket and a net. And here's how we're going to do this. So, as far as this uh, double bag situation here is going, we might have to talk to Aquatic Arts about their double bagging situation. Because the whole reason for the double bag is to put the first bag upside down in the second bag in case it leaks it keeps the water in because of the pressure but these are both at the top so I don't know what's going on here but um, if you would like to hire me so that I don't have to work at Chewy anymore Aquatic Arts um, I can teach you this whole bag situation okay there's that bag now there's a whole bunch of duckweed in here. I told him I didn't care because this came out of one of their like personal tanks, not one of their stock tanks. You won't get duckweed in your bag if you order from Aquatic Arts. Um, but this guy was in one of their tanks that they were just trying to rehome him. So I was like, have you seen my fish room? I don't care. It's whatever. <clears throat> we're going to try to pour some of that duckweed out though. Just because, I mean, ah, oh, okay. That sprayed me in the face. You're welcome, YouTube. That sprayed me right in the face. Okay, can you get down so I can pour some of this duckweed out? Thanks, bro. I know you're like huge, but maybe get it. Okay, that's most of the duckweed. Always making an exit. Don't exit yet. I gotta get you in this net. Can you get in the net? Oh god, now you're in the net. Okay, all right. Chill, 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 chill out. Relax, relax, bro. Don't want you getting stuck in the net. There you go. I definitely got some duckweed in there, but it's gonna be alright. I know how to kill it and get rid of it, and it'll be fine. Plus, it's a quarantine tank, anyways. And I just set it up, so who cares? <clears throat> okay, so what else is happening here? Oh, you guys didn't even see me release that thing because I put the thing down so you could see me with the bucket. He's, he's in there now. He's down here in these plants. Um, I'll get a close-up shot once I get these shrimp taken care of. Um, as you can tell, I don't um, acclimate for a long time because I don't think it's necessary. Um, fish in the wild go through lots and lots of changes. It's called rain and temperature and why do you think we check the weather? Because it's going to be a different temperature outside tomorrow than it is today. So fish go through lots of changes. They're not always super drastic like we think we're doing to them, but they'll be fine. <clears throat> 
Um, Copa thing. Why is everybody talking about this Copa thing? Alien World requires back to teaching. Okay. Oh, Jess is here. What's up, Jess? Let's see. What's going on? Are the new Copa rules going to affect fish tubers that hate to lose you all? I'm not worried about it. Like, honestly, there's nothing on my channel that's not kid-friendly. And also, if kids want to watch what I'm doing, that's fine, I guess. Or they don't have to be kids. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm, I'm not freaking out about it. My videos now ask me if it's kid friendly and I, or if it's intended for kids and I just say no because that needs to be on KidTube. I don't really know. It's the new, yeah, it's the new YouTube disaster. It's, I don't have time to think about that because it's peak season and I have to drive a little Movex around the Chewy warehouse and grab everybody's dog food because everybody is stocking up on cat litter and dog food and dog treats and dog toys and Christmas sweaters for their dogs, and I have to put them in boxes. So, I don't have time to think about um, whether or not my videos should have Mattel ads on them. Don't know. Okay, time for a drink. All right, so I'm not gonna show you the bucket part of this so that you guys can actually see me putting them in there. So, give me a second to open this bag up. <clears throat> All right, shrimps, are you ready? Are you ready for this? It's going to be amazing. I'm super excited. Okay, that's bag number one. Come out of there. Thank you. Bag number one. Okay. Uh, okay, I don't care anymore. Bag number two. Ah! Why do I always do that? Okay, let's see if we can get the shrimps in the net. Shrimps in the net? Shall we say shrimps in the net? We've done that. Let's put this light back on so we can get some close up shots. Oh, 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 did I break it? Oh, I didn't break it. I got the skin Oh, you know, I'm There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can get some close up shots. Now, see if I can show you guys what these things look like. Oh, yeah, plop and drop for all day long. Check them out. Look how cool they are. Okay, there's the pleco, and there's the shrimps, the big shrimps. Look how blue he is. Dope. They're all going to hide in these rocks for sure until they figure out they can sit on top of that rock and there's flow coming straight at it, which is going to be awesome. Yeah, they all went for the rocks. Of course, they all went for the rocks. Are they around the back or are they in the rocks? They are hiding in the rocks. Fantastic. Well, I don't know when we'll see them again. Hopefully they do what I think they're gonna do and they come out and they hang around. 
Yeah, that Pleco's mad he needs to be in my colony. He needs to be in my house. Look how good he is. Beautiful. Uh, that wall is horribly painted. I hate it. That's the yellow or the orange accent wall in my yellow kitchen. Somebody else painted it. It wasn't me. Did not choose this. Oh, look, they're, they're friends. Friends. Okay, so. This is what this tank's looking like so far. I'm gonna add some more rocks over here, probably. Maybe like three more. And then probably a big piece of wood right there. I'm still designing this. I know I want that down the middle. Big old floating mass over there. And then probably a big piece of driftwood and some Anubis. Because I'm going to have to do something with all the plants I tear out of the pond when I have to tear it out of the pond. Oh, I'm so tired. Okay. Oh, and my boss is here. Yeah, did you like them? They're pretty sweet, right? They don't look that much like crayfish. What do you do if you buy a used acrylic tank that's back has been painted blue and you want it to be black or anything but blue? Uh, razor blade, maybe? I don't know. I don't do acrylic. Look at the pleco I got, though, boss. Do you see that pleco? Got that for freezies. Yeah, these two are like buddies. I don't know what's going on. Look at him filter feeding already. Look at that. He's already doing it. That's what they do. They fan those little mitts out and they filter feed. Oh, that's so cool, you guys. I'm so stoked about it. Can you see him doing that? Can I zoom in? Hang on. Hang on. There. Look at him already filter feeding. Everyone works around here. What are you talking about? Tell me that's not cool with the filter feeding mitts and the awesomeness. That's cool. It's gonna be even cooler when he's not scared and he sits on top of that rock and does it. Neato Skeeto, should we turn the flow up higher? Really get it rocking and rolling in there? I mean, this flow can go up really, really high. Look how high I've got it. And all you can see is the reflection of my window. <clears throat> okay, thanks, window. There. I mean, that flow is rocking in this 40 gallon. Oh, yeah, they love that. Look, he's just holding them out. I should put some food in there. They are big. I got the big ones. Ooh, what should we put in there? We should put um, some Cory's fry food. Should we try Cory's fry food? <clears throat> it's powdery. Cory's fry food. Let's try this. Oh, I'm still zoomed in. Hang on. There we go. Okay. Watch, I'm going to squeeze the bottle. Oh, I feel like that's a lot. Okay, we'll try that. So now, there's fry food in there, blowing around. Let's see if that gets them to come out. Oh, the Pleco is excited about it. He's like, hmm. Wait a minute, what did uh, Sharpies just say? Fan feeders are great till they molt and scare you or grab your finger. Yeah, that's a little creepy. Everybody's trying to find their spot in the rocks. Don't be tearing up all that dirt back there. That's just dirt back there. What's up, Rob? Rob's here. Everybody. Not big shrimp, mini lobsters. That pleco is bonus, though, man. Boss. I don't know where the mother two shrimps went. They ran way on me. They're in these rocks somewhere. 
Somewhere, somewhere in the rocks. I do not know. They took off. They're probably all three, like, right there. Yeah, I was thinking about putting hill stream loaches in here. But I, don't, I don't know. This, this tank's a work in progress. Okay. All right. Haley can't get back up and back down anymore. I'm too tired. I'm going to try and see if Jaden wants to take a nap. I'm not hopeful because she has a lot of energy. Um, I already fed the fish. And now I got these new fish in quarantine. And tomorrow I have to be up at 3.30 a.m. to do a 12-hour shift at Chewy. And they already called mandatory overtime for next week. I don't know if I'm getting out of that or not, but I doubt it. But I'm really tired. But maybe I'll be able to afford some sweet Christmas presents for Jaden. And that's always a bonus. So, uh, am I going to the club meeting tomorrow? Yes, that's the other thing I have to do. Do you see how tired I am, Rob? I'm going to be dead at that banquet, but whatever. So I have to work 12-hour shift tomorrow. I get off work at 5.30. Then I have to go grab Jaden at my parents' house. And then I'm coming to the holiday banquet in Greenwood. So it's a 30-minute drive. Holiday banquet. And then back to pick up Jesse from his new job. Because the bear just started a new job. So I got to go pick up the bear. And then come home and go to sleep. Because I got to work another 12-hour shift the next day. So I'll get about three hours of sleep that night. I got about four. I don't know. It's all running together, you guys. I'm really, really tired. Really, really tired. But I'm getting these sweet guns. See that? It's rock solid. 40 pound bags of dog food, bro. That's all you gotta do. You don't have to go to the gym. Just ball out. Right, I can sleep when I'm dead. That's right. Catch a nap. I did, I caught a nap yesterday at Lucas's while he was feeding the fish. So there was a break in between shipping. So we bagged plants, we bagged fish. There was a break. During the break, he was feeding the fish and I sat in his chair and I was like, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a second while he feeds the fish. And then I fell asleep. <laughs> so I woke back up, we finished the shipping, I drove home, I was fine, everything's good. This is like really low and this drives me nuts. Okay. And everything was fine. So, this is already like a half hour long. Oh, Zen Ginger with the $2 super chat towards the next ball of trash. Yes, LOL dolls on this channel are lovingly referred to as balls of trash. Because they are nothing but plastic and trash. Um, with one little doll inside. But thank you Zen Ginger for the support. Because Jaden will love that. Because she loves all things balls of trash. Yes, she does. Uh, Fish Room Fever says love the ink. Yeah, I have tattoos everywhere. There's like... I have, a, I have an addictive personality. I like tattoos. I like fish tanks. I have a lot of them. Okay, 44 Mad Guy, everybody. Live your best life. Happy holidays, all that stuff. Get through this retail season. If you work retail, I'm sorry. I'm with you. I'm right there with you. I'm so tired. And we will make it. Live your best life. I have to go play LOL dolls and or convince my toddler that a nap is a good idea. Anybody think that's gonna work? Cause I don't. Vampire shrimp.